Have you seen ads for the mode phone from Current Rewards and wondered if it was legit? Well, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at my personal experience with the mode phone and whether or not I've actually been able to earn gift cards with it. Hey everyone, this is Kyle from Money at 30. On this channel, we look at personal finance from a millennial perspective, and today we're going to be taking a look at the mode phone. A few months ago, I came across an ad for something called the mode phone, which stated that you could earn hundreds of dollars worth of gift cards each year just by using the device. I was of course skeptical and decided to try out the current rewards app on my iPhone before looking further into mode. But after confirming current's legitimacy, I decided to take a chance on the mode phone and check it out for myself. So does the mode phone work and can you really earn rewards with it? Let's take a look at a few things to know as well as my initial experience. The first thing to know about the mode phone is that you can buy the device outright or subscribe to their monthly plan. At the time that I'm recording this video, mode phone offers two main plans for purchasing the phone. The first option is to buy the device via a one-time payment, which currently costs $119.99. However, there's also a World Phone Unlock Upgrade fee of $19.99, and if you try to remove this, then the price of the phone goes to the quote-unquote retail price of $239.99. On top of that, Mode Phone charges $9.99 for shipping, bringing the total cost for my order to $149.97. Speaking of shipping, I should note that my device arrived within four business days of when I ordered it, which is honestly much, much faster than I was expecting. The other option for Mode Phone is their subscription plan. This one's a bit more confusing, as it's $9.99 a month, but is billed quarterly. There's also a $29.99 one-time fee, the $9.99 shipping fee, and $1.67 per month GSM unlock fee. However, with the subscription, you apparently get a free Mode Phone upgrade every 12 months. Still, I'd advise you to buy the device outright, if possible. Next, you can use the Mode Phone with a number of different carriers or use it as a Wi-Fi only device. According to the Mode Phone site, the device can be used with a long list of mobile carriers that use GSM networks. This includes major US carriers like T-Mobile and AT&T, as well as smaller ones like Mint, Freedom Pop, and more. You can check your carrier's compatibility by visiting the Mode Phone site. Meanwhile, if you don't want cellular service on your Mode Phone, you can also use the device solely on Wi-Fi. That's actually how I've been using it and haven't had any issues. With the Mode Phone, there are several ways to earn points and redeem them through the Current Rewards app. When I posted my review of the iOS version of Current Rewards, several viewers noted that the Android edition was a lot better, and they were absolutely right. In fact, having no experience with the Android version, I'm not 100% sure which point earning features are exclusive to the Mode Phone and which are available to all Android current users. In any case, let's cover some of the key ways you can earn points on the Mode Phone via the Current app. As the widget on the Mode Phone's home screen shows, you can earn points through listening to music, playing games, referring friends, watching ad videos, and more, some of which we'll cover in a moment. But the Mode Phone includes three daily bonus opportunities, checking the weather, checking the news, and opening the surf browser. Meanwhile, you can also claim a bonus every two hours by tapping the link on the widget, as well as earn another bonus every two hours for unlocking your phone. Regarding the widget bonus though, I will note that claiming it seems to be a bit finicky, but I found that closing the current app, tapping the widget to reopen it, and then trying it again usually does the trick. Another rewards option involves charging, as you'll earn fractions of a point at a time while your mode phone is plugged in. Personally, I like to charge my device overnight, unlocking it in the morning to claim the 140 point maximum offered. Between these modes and others, I've regularly been able to hit my daily goals, which unlock even more point bonuses. If you really want to earn the most points though, make sure to at least check your mode phone every couple of hours to get the unlock and widget bonuses, plus check in on the current app, as well as claim your weather, news, and surf bonuses daily. Then, when it comes to turning those points into rewards, the current app has several gift card options, as well as other offers. My go-to has been the $10 Amazon gift cards, which cost 19,750 points each. After submitting my redemptions, my digital gift card typically arrives within a couple of business days, and applying the balance to my Amazon account is as easy as copying the code and pasting it into the Redeem gift card section of Amazon. As I mentioned, the current rewards app for Android is a lot better to use than the iOS one for a few reasons, but I've been impressed with the upgrades to the music and gaming aspects. In my current rewards iOS review, I lamented the lack of a search function for finding music. While the Android version has such a feature, and it not only shows what stations regularly play the artist you're looking for, but also leads to streams playing the artist at the moment you search. Also different in the Android version is that the number of points you're earning per minute are clearly displayed, with Superboost managing to push those figures higher. For as much as I've enjoyed this music mode related upgrade in the Android app, my favorite way to earn points has been with games. In addition to installs that reward you just for downloading apps, and to mega offers that reward you for completing certain tasks with apps, 
The game's mode is much more straightforward and allows you to earn points just for spending time playing. Typically, your first point reward will arrive within one minute of playing the game, while subsequent rewards will increase but will also require longer playtimes. What's also cool is that these point earnings can unlock super boosts, so you can increase the points you earn from listening to music while racking up points from gaming. Now that we've covered the mode aspect of Mode Phone, let's talk about the phone part of the equation. The Mode Phone has a 6.52 inch display, a 13 megapixel main camera, Face ID unlock, and other standard smartphone features while running Android 10. So let's look at the good and bad of those specs, although I'm by no means a tech reviewer. Starting with the screen, I think it's actually pretty decent, fairly large, and looks good with some of the brightly colored apps I've been trying. I also happen to like the almost matte feel that it has. As for the camera, the main one is unremarkable but not horrible in good light, whereas the others, including the selfie camera, are pretty much useless. Elsewhere, the Face ID unlock works well enough, and the battery holds up for my usage needs. One question I had about the mode phone but couldn't find the answer to before ordering was whether it had Bluetooth. Luckily it does, and also has a headphone jack. On that note, in addition to a charging brick, micro USB cable, a 32GB micro SD card, and clear case, the mode phone also includes a pair of headphones, which may be the worst I've ever heard. In fact, I wish I could send them to dank pods to blow up with Scarlet Fire. So in other words, I'd recommend using your own wired or wireless pair of headphones with this device. Finally, I need to point out that the performance of the mode phone isn't always the greatest. Although the games I've downloaded on the phone work well most of the time, there have been instances where they do freeze up a bit. Similarly, the current app itself can be a bit glitchy, requiring me to exit and return later. Furthermore, when I first got the phone, I was worried because current kept crashing, although this was remedied by heading to the Google Play Store and updating the app. Still, after navigating these quirks, they really haven't hindered me from earning points, they could just be a bit annoying at times. Overall, while I was a bit skeptical of the earning potential of the current rewards app for iOS, it's a different story with the mode phone as I'm already well on my way to covering the cost of the device and could see earning much more in the long run. Since getting my mode phone in June 2021, I've already managed to earn $50 in Amazon gift cards and I'm on the verge of claiming another $10. Granted, a good number of these points were earned by playing just one game, but it's impressive nonetheless. Because of this experience, I'm much more inclined to believe that the stated potential $900 a year in rewards could actually be attainable, even if that's still likely ambitious. As someone who's never had an Android phone before, being able to purchase one for $150, connect it to only Wi-Fi, and use it to earn gift cards for playing games is admittedly pretty cool. However, if I were to try to use the mode phone as a daily driver or primary device, I think I'd get pretty frustrated with it pretty quickly. But if you're willing to put in a little effort to maximize your point earnings, then the mode phone may just pay off, or at least pay for itself. Hopefully this gives you a better idea about what the mode phone is all about, but for much more, I'll have a link to my full written review in the description box down below. Also, if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment, and be sure to subscribe because we have new videos every week. So thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time here on Money at 30.